Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be talking about black holes. So this video is basically dedicated to black holes. We'll be talking about what exactly is a black hole, how do we detect black holes, what are they made of, how big are black holes, and do we know of any real black holes in the universe. So let's jump right in and talk about these mysterious holes in our cosmos. So what exactly is a black hole? A black hole is one of the strangest objects in space. It is an area in space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape it. Since the light cannot be escaped from a black hole, it appears, of course, black. Light can travel faster than anything that we know of, at a speed of approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. If the light cannot escape a black hole, then therefore nothing that we know of can. A black hole is not essentially a hole in space, and also it's not empty. It is filled with a lot of material crammed into an extremely small space. This is what gives the black hole its super strong gravity. The term black hole is used because these objects look like simply black holes in space, since they put out no light. So, how are black holes detected? Black holes are detected as surrounding material like gas is funneled by the force of the gravity into the accretion disk around the black hole. The gas molecules in the disk swirl around the black hole so fast that they heat up and emit X-rays. These X-rays can be detected from Earth. And also black holes can be detected by watching the motions of stars orbiting a black hole. So how are black holes made? Well, scientists think that black holes are created in places where matter is extremely dense. This is basically a huge amount of material that is crammed into an extremely small space. This can happen at the centers of large galaxies, or when a giant star collapses and shrinks during its final phases of its life, and then finally goes supernova, giving birth to the black hole. When matter gets so dense that light cannot escape it, the region that that matter is within becomes a black hole. So, how big is a black hole? Black holes come in many sizes, and their size depends on how much material they have within them, basically their mass. Some are the remains of a giant star which collapsed. This is a star that has a lot more mass than our sun. Once this star dies, it collapses in on itself and can become a black hole. These types of black holes are only a few miles across. Black holes have also been discovered in the centers of some galaxies, and if not all galaxies in the universe. These black holes are very large, and contain the same amount of material as a hundred million or more of our sun. These type of black holes are called supermassive black holes, and they are several million miles across. They are literally the center of galaxies. So could the sun become a black hole? Well, the simple answer is no. The sun is too small. It is not massive enough to become a black hole. But for our sun, it will have a very quiet death for an average sized star. So is there a black hole at the center of the Milky Way? Yes. There is a very large black hole at the center of our galaxy. It has a mass of around 3 million suns. But this is very far away from Earth, at a distance of around 27,000 light years, located in the galactic core. The black hole which lies at the center of our galaxy is too far away to be at any danger to us on Earth. But sometimes we can detect it through X-rays and get a clear view of the center of our galaxy and the supermassive black hole that churns away at the stardust at the center of our galaxy.
So, I hope that's given you a great insight and a good introduction into black holes. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.